at the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. <laughs> Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Hands high, hands high. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Nice strike. Oh, spinning catches. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Oh, nice jab. Nice head kick. Joy gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Coach's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Right hand on point. And they separate. Just out of range with the big right hand. Shot is blocked there by Boach. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Ooh, big shot lands. He'll engage in a single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice punch lands over the top. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, huge Superman punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice throw. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Straight punch lands. 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last run. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. DC second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. He's gonna have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Great punch. There it is, there it is. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. His misses are to check these low leg kicks. Both gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Ball oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Huge block there. Oh, big right. Shots. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know you did too much. You missed a lot of your class. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. All right, has the guard closed here. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Bush. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big punch land. And they separate. Boach is lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful punch. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice. Nice. Lands with the right hand. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. 
Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Got a single follow tie. Beautiful strike. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Swing and a miss by Boach. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. That's a big strike right there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back and forth we go. Poach's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here. Tonight. The most trying to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Shore. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimor here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad. But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. I mean, how many can he take? Three minutes to go. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight. But now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating work in the body. And those shots are going to count. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boach gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he got oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Both fighters throwing heat now. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high five. Oh. Oh, takes it over high. What a fantastic takedown. And lands the left there. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, Paulo Tai. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't got himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a peasant. Starts. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Real nice body kick land. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, Superman punch! Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, missed on that one. Real quick leg kick. Oh, good kicks there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high cross. He's just following the action. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Booch. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. I mean, how many can he take? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. How about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Choi. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Nice body kick right into the elbow. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Continues to make... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That goes in and secures the takedown. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Nice straight. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh! Oh! Oh, straight right! Misses with that punch. Oh, nice. Oh, big punch land. Quick level change. Oh, he went single. Rotate head outside this dude. <laughs> Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Let's go. 15 seconds. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be... Good night, Irene. Let's get back out here and work on that cut. Slice be open good. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish on You ready? You ready? It is the fifth and final round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Boach. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. He's trying to stay in this fight. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. Looking to land the right just out of range. Boach gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Choi. Oh, nice slip, and then the counter for him there, and I know DC's in the monologue is, man, can I just be the longer fighter in one UFC matchup? I get it, man. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut. Quick entry to get man, him on a single. that was a great single. Oh. oh, my God, he switched the lock to a high cross, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. I mean, that right hand landed square. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Relax, relax. Coach gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. He's knee to the body. What a body kick. Just misses there with the left. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. Oh, he hurt him! is nasty. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side. Oh. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. And again, keeping that knee on the midsection. Goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl!